Hi, I'm going to talk you through the process of preparing your print. So you'll want to prepare your print in a dark room. Um, I'm just in our garage. It's not completely light sensitive, but it is dark enough. Um, the things you'll need, I will use some glass perspex today because it's quite windy and that will help hold down the print. Um, I've just used like a bit of a photo frame, um, any kind of glass or perspex, something clear will be ideal. Um, I've got a backing board, so just a bit of cardboard or board that you can prepare your print on. And then obviously you've got your fabric in an envelope and whatever your selected natural materials are. So, how can I position this camera? Maybe there. Take your fabric out of the envelope. Place it on your board. Smooth it out. One's a bit creased. Place your natural materials, however you would like them to fall. And then I'm just gonna get my perspex. Now you really need the perspex to be larger than the print itself. Otherwise the perspex will actually cast a shadow. So as you can see here, the perspex is larger than the fabric itself. So that's all nicely secure. We're gonna take it outside now and expose it to the sun. So you can see I've placed my print in the full sun. Um, it's not shaded at all. And the perspex is holding down the material. So I've brought my print inside. And the next step is to rinse it out. So just pop the camera in there. As you can see, I'm just using a laundry sink. Probably don't want to do this in your kitchen. Um, move these. Just remove the leaves from the print. And now I'm just going to... So that's what it looks like in there. And now I'm just going to rinse it in this bucket of water. Don't be afraid to give it a good rinse, you'll see the coloration of the water. Once you've done this for a few minutes, you'll see the beginnings of the print forming, which is a really magical part. And then you can just hang it. Hang it on the line and let it dry.